Just pretend I have like a red floating energy source right here. <laughs> What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're going to be doing a get the look for wanda maximoff i at first wanted to do just wandavision but then i was just like i'm gonna do age of ultron infinity war slash endgame and then wandavision so i did four get the looks there's two from wandavision and then age of ultron as well as infinity war slash endgame because she's wearing kind of like the same thing for those two just me coming in here very quickly i'm just letting you guys know it's not going to be exactly it's just I'm not trying to get the exact look. I'm just trying to like see if I could find similar ones to match her. So it's not going to be like a cosplay. It's more where like, it's where I could like go to Disney because Disney doesn't allow um, cosplayers. So this will help for people who want to go to Disney and wear Wanda's outfit. They seem pretty simple, but then when you start looking for her clothing during springtime, because it is March, there's not a lot of burgundy or red. I'll just go ahead and do a little mini haul for you guys right now, and then we'll go ahead and put them together. Okay, so the first one's going to be this jacket. I got it from Fashion Q. It is literally just like a regular, I, th I guess you could call it a combat jacket. I'm not entirely sure that this little feathered silver necklace. And then what I'm wearing right now is a dress. I'll show you guys when I start doing the looks okay so the first one was this i think it's called a halter top i forgot what this is called but it is just a simple black halter top i was trying to look for a burgundy reddish one they didn't have any so whenever i couldn't find anything that was supposed to be burgundy i just got the black one this is one that i couldn't that i needed a burgundy one but i just couldn't find it it is this one the lace is see-through i couldn't find one that was not see-through this is supposed to be a corset but i could not find a corset that was inexpensive and then i believe the last one i did buy a lot more stuff than i thought i should have i could tell you that for sure the last one is this burgundy cardigan it is a very long one it goes down to your knees i believe i forgot i literally forgot and i just already tried it on <laughs> it is is a longer one so it should drape down closer to your knees and then it does have slits which will work really really well for one of them i'll show you right now oh in a few minutes yeah I, i'm pretty i don't know how well i did for giving you guys a a little haul for that okay so before i show you guys the outfits that i came up with i also did her makeup in episode eight and nine my eye keeps on twitching I did her makeup from episode 8 and 9. Her makeup in episode 8 and 9, besides when she transforms into the Scarlet Witch, is very fresh and like it looks like she doesn't have any makeup on, but I know she did have like a corally, peachy kind of blush, and then she had a pearlescent eyeshadow on her lid, and then on her eyelashes, she actually had like a little line of purple and then the lips was just a tinted lip balm but yeah everything is very fresh and natural so i'm just sticking with episode eight and nine of wanda the rest of them i know for every single year she had a different look for that specific era besides the besides the makeup i did end up curling my hair a little bit more like waves most of the time you see her her hair is slightly curled or waved so i went ahead and did that my hair is a little bit shorter now so if it was a bit longer I would have just kept the curls on the bottom because that's how hers is but yeah that's basically it for the makeup and the hair now let's go on to the looks we're gonna just go ahead and start from wandavision all the way to age of ultron i don't know why but i kind of just want to do it that way i don't want to do age of ultron to wandavision so we're gonna go ahead and start with wandavision so starting off with episode 9 when she transforms into the scarlet witch this was really hard to find not gonna lie so i had to kind of like improvise i tried so hard to screenshot and just like try to get this photo disney does kind of blacken out the photos when you screenshot so i was only able to find this on google i was trying to look for something that's very similar to this the only thing that i found that would kind of look like her like this is a costume and trying to get a costume to look like regular clothing is quite hard not gonna lie to you guys she basically has like a red black corset and i could not find that anywhere like i had that problem with the other one as well because it's like her her staple one that she's always wearing is just like the red blackish corset i could not find anything similar to that whatsoever so what i did for this one is basically just get like a crop top that goes up to your neck as well as this cardigan the cardigan has like the holes on the sides the bottoms are just pants and then combat boots to make it look like her costume this is gonna go down this is the only way i was able to find it and figure it out but i think this actually works i'm not gonna lie this like 
if you're willing to do this the whole entire time and just like have this as inspiration for um, her costume, I think this would work. But just know that you're gonna be like this the whole entire time. So as you can see, you still get like the skirt kind of look like that. Yeah, this is like the only way I was able to like figure it out. You could also try putting it as like, you tie it, but I think you're gonna have no sleeves, so. I think the best way would be is if you were to just do it the other way, just like this. I really think this actually works. To help you guys out, this top was from Forever 21, the bottoms are from Cotton On, and then this was from like Fashion Q. The only thing though is, is, is I wish I got like a headband or something that would actually help for it, that would make it obvious that she it is like her. The only thing I have though are cat ears, I know she doesn't have cat ears in it, but like that's just gonna go too Halloween-y. I'm trying to do this where it will be like an everyday kind of wear, so we're not gonna put that. <laughs> So the next one is kind of my favorite. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, so the next one that I went for is actually before she turns into the Scarlet Witch and it is like basically her mom look. Obviously when I saw that, I was like, that is very comfy. So I'm gonna try to get that look, which is very simple, but I didn't have the burgundy sweater. So I did order it online. It should be coming in today. So you will still be getting that look. I did find the shoes. I found the shoes on Amazon. I actually saw that somebody on TikTok found them and they are a very small brand i believe the name is trevton or treaton something like that i'll link it down below if you guys are interested in looking at that yeah they should be coming in on sunday if they come early sunday you'll see it in this video in the next few clips if they don't come early sunday then you'll see white adidas <laughs> Okay, it's only been like a few hours later, like the whole entire day. For the shirt, I actually thought it was black the whole entire time until I went back and I was filming it and then I saw it and it was dark gray. Yeah, I don't have dark gray shirts, but I do have a black one. So we're going to be using a black one and then I have sweats that are similar to hers from Target, but they are a bit looser. I couldn't find a red sweater that had like the white and blue stripes that she had in it, but honestly, just a burgundy sweater should be fine. And then these are from Target, the sweats are from Target. She had her ponytail low, so I just put it down here where my neck is. These are just Adidas shoes, to be quite honest. I will show you the other shoes that are from the actual show on my next vlog. If I decide to vlog, I'll just do a little cameo of it. So the next one we're gonna do is Wanda Ultron. This is not Age of Ultron. I think this is Endgame Infinity War. I could not find a burgundy corset anywhere i'm gonna be saying that a lot in this video but i could not find it anywhere so that is why i went for the black laced okay so as i was filming that i didn't actually like the the lacy tops it's kind of the next day and i'm, I'm about to show you guys what the other thing i'm thinking about and then i forgot the the gloves it's fine, don't worry, it's fine. But I think I found one that's like really nice, I would say, and it will look a little bit like Wanda. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. Um, just literally ignore what I was talking about, about that lace shirt, because that was not cute. That wasn't cute whatsoever. Okay, so here's a look. There you go. Hopefully you can see a full body now. Obviously I do wish that I had a burgundy crop top, but because, I mean a burgundy corset, but this is gonna be like a really good alternative so you could wear every single day or like year round. I am wearing combat boots that are knee high and they, I believe are from Aldo. They are my mom's. The pants are from Cotton On. This is just like a regular shirt, I believe from Forever 21 or H&M. This is from Fashion Q and then the gloves are from Amazon. If you don't want this one, like this one, if you want it longer to make it look like her actual trench coat, I have an alternative for you. And then also I'm gonna change the shirt, so give me one second. Okay. Okay, so here's the other one. This one is a lot longer. Okay, so the photo that I saw of her actually had her gloves kind of like, she had these gloves and they were kind of like connected to her actual sleeves. So I decided to do this. I don't know if it went well. I did have two versions of it. I didn't even realize it. This is a person's drawing. There is this one. This is the one that I'm basing this look off of. And then what she actually wore is this one. So it's like a mix of both. The majority of it is from the drawing. I don't, I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of connected. I don't know. What do we think? I think I like this one better only because like this is longer and it makes it look like her 
coat. What do you think? This one or the other one? So here's a look. I think this actually looks more like Wanda Maximoff, mainly because of this cardigan. And yeah, these are the boots, by the way. I believe they're from Alto. I'm not entirely sure. They are my mom's. So yeah, there is the look. I will say it's probably the easiest I was able to find. Not gonna lie to you guys. It is Wanda from Age of Ultron and it's literally just a black dress with a coat. She does have a red leather jacket, which I couldn't find. I just ended up using this same coat for that. So this one is like the, the one that like you meet Wanda first and this is like her actual, like what she wore in Age of Ultron where you actually meet her. So yeah, here's the dress. I haven't worn a dress in a long time, so. Yeah, she has a, a red leather jacket. I got this burgundy like coat. I didn't get the stockings, but I do have the combat boots. Okay, so here's the full look. We have the combat boots. So I know she is wearing like, um, they're not gloves, but they're just like right here. I got regular gloves, but honestly, if you have your arms like this, I think it should just like be fine. And then as well as just like a regular silver long necklace will do just great. So I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but I did get the gloves since she's always wearing gloves in a, an Age of Ultron. Very, very small detail with the gloves. I could do her hand movements. She just has like her middle finger just like inside. I saw that people actually could do the, the effects in After Effect, I believe. So if I could do it, I'll just do it here. But we don't have After Effects. You don't have After Effects? Oh. Just pretend I have like a red floating energy source right here. It's like do the bare minimum and just put like a red circle like right there. Like just bare minimum. And just pretend that it's uh, powers. I'll try to do, I'll try to edit that. I'll try to edit that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be harder than you think it is. I could kind of get it. And then just... Okay, so those are all of the looks that I came up with for Wanda. Let me know if you want to see me actually do some of her makeup looks because I know in WandaVision, she does have a ton of makeup looks because like obviously you have like the 70s, 80s, 90s. And then she has one for actual Scarlet Witch, which I really, really like. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's very like sultry and all that. But yeah, let me know if you want to see a video of that. I will be happy to do that one. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe down below and then turn on those post notifications so you know when I upload. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.